Welcome to this special birthday edition of Sir James D. Tech. Today I'll be doing a review for the 6GB kit of Gale Evo 1 DDR3 2000 triple channel memory and also the Gale Cyclone real time temperature and fan RPM LED display memory cooler. Okay, the first thing you can see is it's barely in there. I mean, thank goodness this comes with somewhat bendable brackets because I honestly didn't think I was going to make it in there with that radiator up on top and 38 millimeter shroud plus the 25 millimeter fans. I mean, those thumb screws, uh, that is a tight fit. I had to struggle a little bit to get it in, but I mean, this is pushing it. Secondly, that bracket, now if you've got a fan like I've got right there, the exhaust fan, it's a little bit of an airflow impediment. Now with my G-Skill Perfect Storm RAM fans, it's just two arms that latch on. It's not a huge bracket like that. The LED display is absolutely brilliant, as you can see. It's fairly accurate. It's supposed to be a 3400 plus or minus 100 RPM fan, but mine's been reading 4950 around there. So again, the RPM monitor, not too sure about that. It's a 4.04 CFM fan with 50 millimeter. Now what would make this absolutely an A plus memory cooler is if somehow that LED display could be programmable. Now I know there are case fans which you've got a USB flash burner with software and you can flash whatever text you want. Uh, maybe that's something that Gail could look at implementing. And now for the memory. First there was installation. If you've got other memory installed, I'd suggest fully clearing CMOS, input your overclock manually, but load up the XMP Profile 1. I was having a little bit of trouble manually inputting the timings and such and getting it to post. Also, 99928110 timings, that's a rather large gap for my 888. 2174 G skill perfect storm 2000. All right, let's check it out with the lights off. Now, the Evil One kit I tested goes for around $215 retail or around $50 less than what I paid for the G skill perfect storm kit. The DBT, the die hard burn in technology I mentioned in the unboxing, is basically the way Gale stress tests their modules at max voltage and max frequency in a 100 degree Celsius controlled environment the DBT1 chamber for 24 hours. Now running Prime 95 this morning for 4 hours I didn't have any issues. So 100% this is stable memory. Benchmarks I performed provided rather staggering results frankly. Here I'll show those to you real quick. Now for the verdicts. First, the memory, the Gale Evo 1 DDR3 2000. I cannot with a clear conscience give this any better than an average C. And I'll give you my reasons. It seems to me this day and age especially, DDR3 2000 memory needs to meet three criterias. Performance, style and design, and yes, stability. 
and I credit Gail with the DBT stress testing, does terrifically. I didn't have a system hang, anything like that. Performance. 999-28-110 timings. I mean, you saw the test results. It was drastic compared to the perfect storm. And that kit's only $50 more. Now, I will say that Gale does make a DDR3-2000-888 memory kit. However, that's for a different review, a different day. Testing these today, and it fell behind. Now for the other criteria, the style and design. While this may be a very functional design, with the 26 fins coming up, bar going across, not terribly in love with how the kit looks. It's very plain, there's not really that much to it, and if you have a windowed case like I have, you shouldn't really feel like you need to hide your memory underneath the RAM cooler in order for it to look decent. So, I feel this criteria, it also falls short. So again, average C on the memory, and now we'll get to the Gale Cyclone RAM cooler. For the style and design of this product, there are some aspects which are absolutely gorgeous. The beautiful blue light shining out, the red, well, pink LED display showing the temperature, RPM monitor, company name, and product name, and thankfully, the black 3-pin cable. Again, we're not building Krusty the Clown's case here. Gale has really hit a home run on these design aspects. Now for what I feel is lacking just a little bit. While I appreciate the brackets and how they are universal, for instance, if you have memory with huge towering heat sinks, Okay, you're going to want something like that. However, the brackets did make installation a little bit difficult. I had to kind of wrench it in there in order to get the memory even clipped on, and so that could be a bit of a pain. Secondly, and this may not even be something that was even thought of, but when you have a chunk of tin in there like this, in terms of the brackets, that is going to be an airflow impediment. And lastly, for the Cyclone, for me, there's just too much tin visible. I mean, I believe in functionality, but it doesn't necessarily mean I want to see all of the function. The performance of the Gale Cyclone is top-notch, and I will have to say that fan is not loud at all. So overall, my verdict for the Gale Cyclone is a recommended B+. Till next video, ladies and gentlemen. Talk later.